live now. Here we go. All right. Hello and welcome to my um, tutorial <laughs> on how to play No More Room in Hell. Congratulations on downloading an excellent mod for um, you're playing. For, um, hey F1. What's F1 do? Wait, I should know that. Hang on a second. <laughs> Flashlight is a very important tool in No More Room in Hell, for there are many dark areas that you need to explore with light. But without it, you will be left blind in the dark. But don't panic, because even if you don't have a flashlight, you can always use the lighter. Zippo. Although, always with you is normally ineffective against actually lighting up dark areas, and is more of a comforting tool than anything else. Two weapons. You can pick weapons up with D. E. However, if you are over encumbered by a full inventory, you will just harmlessly pick them up in the air and walk and wave them around like you just don't care. In order to make room for inventory, you either he figured out how to use the gun. Alright. In order to make room for him in your inventory, Hitting G will drop your currently held item. Or, you can hold 1 in the weapons wheel and um, right click on it to drop it. As such. Depending on how many items you have, they will take up more space in the weapons wheel. Please use item management skills and not get over or else you will die. Let's move on to our next step. Handguns. Handguns are very useful. In I'm this topped game. off. Something that will keep you alive more than anything is a handgun because of how plentiful it is in its ammo. Depending on which handgun you have, they could be using different ammo. This Beretta I'm maxed out. uses 9mm ammo. In order to check on the ammunition, hold down the reload button. You will take out the clip. I'm rocking a check full clip. And put it back in. I don't know what. The reload. I've only got one mag left. Oh. That is the only way you can check ammunition in this game. Wasting ammunition is mags. highly uh, <laughs> frowned upon because of how Everyone rare will. ammo is Nine. and how many hits it takes to actually kill one of these things and how many zombies <laughs> You're are. You're dead, Ugly. You're dead. <laughs> Take a step back, back to melee weapons, because they are no, going to carry no, you in the game no, more no, than no. anything else. Don't be silly now, no. Um, melee weapons, depending on the size, you can actually wield a, um, a flashlight and a melee weapon if it's up one-handed. If it's two-handed, then you should have luck, because you can need both hands to carry it. Uh, holding down left trigger would initiate a charge attack, which will not only cause more damage, but also push back the zombies be more likely to push back zombies. The heavier a weapon is, the more likely it is to push back if you damage. Gun, yeah, tell me how to switch weapons. No. Um, you can switch weapons via the weapons wheel by holding one, or by using the uh, mouse wheel. Another important feature in this game is the shove mechanic. After every melee hit, you should always shove the, the zombie back to prevent from being grabbed. The shove button should be allocated to the V key. There you go. Now you're getting it. That's a real zombie killer right there. Shove those zombies oh. there, Dave. Like you. Alright. Um, always be sparse when using ammunition because you never know where you're going to find more of it. And if, you're, and if your partner's using the same ammo, always remember to share. How do I use this? Um, looks like you have a full inventory. You're going to have to drop something. You don't, though. Well, I guess it just, this, if there's still, it might not fit in the little sliver of inventory space you have. So it might I fit. have a whole fucking Soko. Oh, in that case, that's probably the same gun that you already have. You can never have oh, more than... I want ammo. Gun. Oh. Really? oh. <laughs> you have 
made room for more ammo there, Dave. Um, another important thing is if you hit the U button, you will unload the clip you have in your gun and put it in your reserve ammo for you to pick up a new gun and you use that gun for, you know, the ammo that And pick has. it up. Well, you have to drop the gun first. You have to drop the current gun first. And pick up the new gun. Hey, that's the old gun. <laughs> this is the punch, man. Now, what kind of ammo does that use? Let's see if we can remember how to check. 9 millimeter. 9 millimeter. Alright, how many shots do you have? 15. Perfect. 14. Okay, we're actually gonna need some of those shots for the next tutorial. Um, alright, follow me. Shit, I'm out of mags. Rifles use different ammunition, and you have to keep an eye out for those. They also take up more space in the inventory slot. So, when you're using a rifle, be sure to stay at range and be conservative with the ammo. Teach those zombies a what for, Dave? What? Kill them. Am I supposed to do the red dial or the crosser? Both. Use them in tangent. <laughs> They'll get it eventually. There you go. Alright. Rifles are powerful, but they're really slow in firing. So you have to really stay at range. As you can see, there are most there are, many, there are several different types of zombies. Most of them are the shambling slow ones, as you can see in front of you. There's also the runners, which are way faster and way weaker, and the kid zombies that are short little assholes that will grab onto you. Actually, they will claw your little ankles. And do a lot of damage. You gotta watch out for those. And the ones shambling is gonna tend to avoid unless they group up like so. He's gonna have to start shooting. Do you still have ammo in your, in your pistol, Dave? Yeah. Take it out. I want to show you something. Aim down the sight, but don't fire or move. Okay. What the fuck's going on? When it flashes yellow like that, you have a power shot, a focus shot. That doubles the damage in the pistol and it helps conserve ammo. This tends to be a one hit headshot if connected. But you can't move while you're If you move it, you lose it. Alright, here. Follow me. I'll find a better place for you to try this out. We're going to the zombie cage. And we are back. <laughs> now, in the zombie cage. Oh god, he actually opened up the cage! Why? Why did you open up the cage? Shoot! Shoot him! Get him! <laughs> Why the fuck did you open up the goddamn cage? <laughs> Out of max. I got five rounds left. Eleven shots left. Oh, they're close. Right. The magazines are all spent. Keep it closed. <laughs> All right, back at the zombie cage. We here we can examine the zombies up close without any danger whatsoever. It is a very good learning tool to use for figuring out what works best against the undead world. Aim for it. Aim for the head is a really good tip, though. Yeah, you go get him, boy. Now we can practice our power shots. Unless you already have ammo, aren't you? Oh, hey. Don't forget to shove. <laughs> Keep those bastards away. Um. How did you shove again? I need help. You're fine. Shove him. Can't move. Ah! Fuck out of here! Back! Back, you guys! Back! Whoa! 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 And we are back. 
Back at the zombie cage, as we said, nothing bad ever happens here. Oh, hey, I need help. Quick, <laughs> fuck! I just told you to stay away from the door! <laughs> Alright, so, uh, take out your gun. Because you really can't hit him with melee weapons through fences. Bullets go through fences, not melee weapons. Hold down. But hold they down can go through fences. Hold down the aim button and wait for that flash of yellow. When you got it, aim for the head and then send one bullet out flying. Kills them instantly every time. 50% of the time. Like this, you can thin the horde. It's real easy, too. Best off, you're completely safe, as long as you don't touch that lock. Always keep checking your 13. ammo. 13 rounds left. It's always good. How many bolts do you have? I have... Out of max. Team. Alright. Escape. Always watch out for those runners. Take those out first. Military oh, yes. zombies are also no go. They're really strong. How you feeling, Dave? Wait. Oh, nope. That's <laughs> oh, oh. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, let's let's cover something else. I'm done with the zombie cage. Come on. No. Nope. Fucking runners! <laughs> Come back! You can just close these doors. Fuck! You can just close these doors. You can't close oh, those wait, doors, you idiot! <laughs> I'm out, oh, I'm bleeding. Nice. I'm bleeding. Normally when you're bleeding, it's really easy cure to just find bandages, but they're actually pretty rare. So you know. Now, you now we can do melee weapons. If you can't find them. When you slowly start to bleed to death, it gets really hard to stay awake, and you get really weak, and uh, I'm so tired. Black and white. You really gotta find bandages. Oh god. Dave, help me find bandages. Trying to. I think there's nowhere uh, else to go. Oh, you're dead. Alright, thanks to my lovely assistant and his generous blood donations, I think we're finally ready to venture out. We've covered all the basics, and I think we got what it takes to get to safety and survive. Yeah. Isn't that right, Assistant Dave? We died. No, we didn't. We're fine. Now, don't forget to load up tons of equipment for the journey ahead. That includes ammo, I'm rocking a full melee blitz. weapons, flashlights, and even radios if you can find them. They're very important for keeping communication. Because this game has a distance-based communication mechanic that I do not cover because we are in a chat room right now. And it'd be hard to cover that in the chat room. Let's see. Got any mandates up here? What's um, what wood for? Wood? Oh yes, I forgot to. I forgot all about that. Wood is used to barricade certain entranceways and doors to keep the zombies out when you find a secure area to progress through. It's very oh, helpful. do you have your gun and your flashlight? Huh? You have your gun and flashlight. Yeah. What about it? Oh. Uh, when you have your gun out, normally only normally this only applies to handguns. Take out your gun and hit the F button to bring up the flashlight, and hit the F button to put it away again. Very useful for uh, clearing corners and clearing dark rooms and such things such as that. In order to barricade weapons, in order to barricade doorways with the um, planks of wood, though, you're gonna need a carpenter hammer. Good, trusty carpenter hammer that can also count as double as a melee weapon. A shitty one, but you know, still a melee weapon. Set, Assistant Dave, to venture out. Sure, why not? All right, let's go. Let us go downstairs and start our adventure. Let's go. If 
friendly fire was enough, I'd be terrified to have him behind me. I'd be terrified to have me behind you too. Yeah, but good thing it's off. That way I can fully trust him not to kill me. Wait, so how do I turn it on? Uh, what? Turn what on? Friendly <laughs> fire. You can't. You're not the host. Why not? Because I said so. All right. Now we have Ooh, two. Yeah. We have two exit, exit can. ways. We can have the zombie cage or the main entrance that's boarded up. We're gonna have to clear the boards first. What do you think we should do? What? What? Wait, what? We have two exits. <laughs> Either the boarded up door or the zombie cage. Zombie or, cage. A good idea would be to have someone distract them at the zombie cage while the rest of the crew escapes through the boarded door. Would you be up oh, to that task? Keep distracting him. I'm almost through the door. I'm gonna get through the door. Just don't open the door, right? Also, good thing to note: the more you swing your melee weapon, the more exhausted you get. So you really gotta keep track of those swings. Make sure you don't get too exhausted to run away, because that's always an important option to run away. Like so, wait for my stamina to recover before I hit the last board. Finally escape. Dave, do you have all the zombies' attention? Sure, why not? Alright, let's go! Where are you going? You don't have to make one. Like I said, back off, deadhead. Better dread than dead, as I always say. Ow, fuck. And, come on. Oh, Dave. I thought you escaped. Hurry up. <laughs> I, I opened the gate. You opened the gate. Let's go. Alright, we gotta find the keys to the back of this movie theater some reason. In this game mode, the objective base, we have to find keys that hey, are important to us. That. Ow. Oh, it seems that my friend has been grabbed by a zombie. There's a guy laying down. Back off there, bucko. Back off. We should probably get a move on, because the zombies behind us are actually getting pretty close for comfort, and I'm bleeding again. Great. We gotta Go find band-aids. Come on, Dave. Assistant Dave. <laughs> Behind you. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. It's time to use the handgun. I'm out of ammo. That's okay, Dave, because I have a handgun and a flashlight. This guy's not dying. There we go. Pop him in the head. Yeah. Shoot him up. Keep moving. Gotta find some band-aids before I die. Oh boy. This shit, this stupid mechanic. Look, we found the flashlight. That door's locked. Uh, uh, found some more ammo. I only got three! Hello there, friend. Uh, Dave, come on, need to Last mag, that's it! Looking for band-aids at another place. You gotta split up. Yep. Does black and white mean you're bleeding out? No. Black and red means you're bleeding out. Black and white means oh. you're about to die. Don't die. Um, about that. Ah. Ah. Well, looks like this is it, friends. That's the end of the stream. I guess there's no hope left. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did, and I hope to see you again later. Until then, ta-ta for now. That was kind of perfect.